When I go bourbon hunting, I usually have a couple of things on my mind. One, can I find something maybe that I've never had? Can I find an interesting whiskey? Or can I find something that's the best bang for my buck? My bourbon budget is not unlimited, although it's a little higher than Jill would like for it to be. Not unlimited. It is not unlimited, which means we need to be smart about the bourbons we're buying, so we're always on the hunt for a great value, which is why we went and asked y'all what you thought were the best values for the money. And y'all came through for us, and we had to narrow this list down to the top 10 because y'all gave us all sorts of wonderful whiskey values, but we're not gonna go through all of them. So here are the top 10 value bourbons according to the B team, the Brusel community. So we're gonna start at number 10, and that is Russell's Reserve 10. This guy, I think, is about a 45-ish dollars MSRP, and that's for a 10-year-old Kentucky bourbon made by Wild Turkey. So proof on this is about 90 proof. What makes it maybe not a little more exceptional is we typically like a little more proof on these. I got the feeling we're gonna have quite a few Wild Turkey products on this list. $45, what That's do you good. think? That's a fantastic $45 really bottle. Good. I just don't know if it doesn't deserve to be higher. How did I get like a cinnamon vanilla? My right. only problem with turkey products is when they get a little more age to them, they get a little more oakiness. The oakiness often is like a dry oakiness, almost like a dry wine, just dries the palate out. Um, and comes across a little harsh to me. It has just a touch of that, but it's not much. Like, yeah, it's not really bad. Good. When it gets a little older, like the 13-year Russell, some of those releases have that. Solid. Good choice here at number 10. Let's look at number nine. And number nine is actually a bottle that I don't have available for us right now, and that is Four Roses Small Batch. What I do have, though, is Four Roses Single Barrel, which is a similar experience. With a very bad cork. We have a bunch of corks. I'm gonna see if I can find one to fit in there. So what's the difference between what they picked and what we have? Well, the MSRP on a Four Roses Small Batch is about 38 bucks, 90 proof. So this one is a single barrel, which is going to be 100 proof. They're gonna be similar. Yeah. Little bit different experience, but similar. Yeah, I think I like the Russell's better. You think the Russell's is worth it? I get a little more at. oak on this one. Yeah, and again, this is not the small batch. That's probably, that might be the difference. Oak. This is the only one that we just absolutely do not have on the list, though. I don't know. I, I would probably go back and forth between that and the Russell's day to day. Still a good whiskey, and the small batch is going to be of, of similar quality. Sometimes when you take the things you enjoy, like bourbon hunting, and you start a YouTube channel where everybody expects you to drop a banger bourbon hunting video every week, it can start to feel a little bit like work. And that's why I'm always looking for ways to treat myself, and that's how I found Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a free to join membership club that delivers a box of awesome top shelf goods from brands that are under the radar. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the USA. Every month, Bespoke Post introduces me to cool new products like stuff for my bar, clothes, even live oysters. It's all based on a short and easy preference quiz I filled out at the start of my membership. Every box of awesome has about $70 worth of cool items inside, but only costs you a fraction of that value. Each month, I get a preview of the box before it's shipped, so I can see what's inside, and then I get to decide if I wanna keep it, swap it for a different box, or skip this month altogether with no charge. Over the last couple of months, I've had some really cool boxes show up. The first one was this smoker kit. Now, I've had the woodblock style smokers, but I'm much more about putting on a show, and nothing's cooler than seeing the fire and then seeing it smoke your cocktail. But also, I'm a sucker for quality made goods, especially canvas and leather bags, because a lot of our bourbon hunts are just overnight jaunts around here, and I just wanted something lightweight, throw some clothes in it, hit the road, do some bourbon hunting, and come back. Now, if you're looking to treat yourself with awesome boxes like this, what are you waiting for? Right now, Bespoke Post is offering the B Team 20% off your first box of awesome. Just click the link in the description and use code BRUZEL20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com forward slash BRUZEL20 and get started on your preference quiz today. I'm gonna enjoy a smoky old fashioned while y'all get back to this bourbon video. At number eight, Early times bottled and bought. Now this label recently sold from Brown Foreman to Sazerac. It sold from the makers of Jack Daniels to the folks who make like Weller and Buffalo Trace and those kinds of things. Now, this is the blue metal top. We went with that one for this comparison because this is what people can go get. So when this sold, supposedly the whiskey in here is exactly the same as the ones with the black plastic screw top. They're still sourcing whiskey from the same place. It's supposedly still 
Brown Foreman whiskey in here. A lot of people, including myself, claim that the black plastic screw tops are much better. And the flavors are similar. It's not like it's a completely different product, but they're just not as good as the black plastic screw caps but they are still a fantastic value bourbon. MSRP on this guy is right around $26. And of course, being a bottle and bond, it comes in at 100 proof. I like that. Is this better than the Russells? No, it's good though. It's 100 proof, so you got a little more proof points to it. And it's like, what did I say, $26 versus like $45-ish MSRP? Seems like a great value. And maybe that's why it ranked a little higher, just because it's, it's so much cheaper. Like okay. once you get $45, realistically is a bourbon of value. If you're just, you know, if you're a normal consumer of whiskey, $45 is an expensive bottle, whereas 26 bucks, like you're competing against a whole bunch of, you know, at least mid shelf, bottom shelf crap at that price. Good bottle, not as good as it used to be to me. Like just go ahead and give me hate comments if you don't agree with me, or if you do agree, let me know down in the comments. Do you want to try the black top? Okay. It's the proof queen. You got the proof queen, Glenn Cairns. That is a lot. That's a hefty pour. But y'all see the black plastic screw cap versus the metal screw caps here. Let me know what you think of that versus the first pour. It's quite a bit different, isn't it? That is quite a bit different. And better. And way better. <laughs> way better. That's, I mean, similar flavor profile, but this one, just everything about this one is better. There is a difference. Wow. And anybody who says there's not, we don't Come know. over. Let's try. <laughs> like we're gonna we're gonna battle it out. We're gonna blind it. And number seven is Old Forester Hundred Proof. Now I'm assuming they're talking about the normal Hundred Proof Old Forester and not a single barrel. But this is what I have. Like, why would you drink the normal stuff when you have a single barrel? The Hundred Proof MSRP at right around twenty eight dollars for a normal release of this. I think I paid a little more than that for this one. This is a Ooh. store pick from. Is that Rayleigh's in Nevada? Apparently we got a lot of Nevada store picks. We seem to do very well with Nevada store We have picks. had some really great picks out of Nevada. They must put all the good whiskey in Nevada. Quintessential Old Forester on the nose though. I still think I, I get a little bit more of the tobacco-y. This is just like an oak flavored birthday cake. I get yeah. like some interesting sweetness. I, I would say almost like sprinkles, like it's just, Interesting little bits of uh, bursts of sweetness. This is obviously not in the tier with some of their limited release stuff where their flavors are really subtle yeah. and complex. This one's a little more in your face yeah, there with the oakiness, yeah. but still a really nice yeah. bottle. This is a single barrel, so this is probably a little more oaky than their normal release stuff yeah. um, that you're gonna be able to get for that 28-ish dollars MSRP. So we are watered up and we are moving through the list to number six, almost halfway through. You're still saying the Russell's 10 is your favorite out of these so yeah. far. Which surprises me because it's the lowest proof. The proof queen's falling off her throne. She's abdicating her throne. <laughs> no. Well, you're about to get the proof, babe, because the next one okay. is wild turkey rare breed. Again, a wild turkey product. So it's Which gonna be Russell. kind of similar to that Russell's. So this one is 116 proof and it is MSRP for 50-ish dollars in the 50s. You, you might, I think 53, 55, something like that. I get a little peanut on that one, a little dust. It does seem to have a little dustiness to it. So the oakiness is not as dry in this one and it does come across almost a little bit nutty yeah, on this particular bottle. Yeah, a little bit bottle. nutty, I like the proof, but I'm still sticking with it. The oh Lord, one. have mercy, Jill. I can see people, there are people logging off right now, just jumping shit. Look, I'm sorry. I like what I like, and today I like that one. I'm gonna disagree with you here. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely disagree. I'm, I'm kind of with you on most of those. I'm gonna jump ship right here and say the Rare Breed is hands down. On any day, I will pick the Rare Breed over a Russell's team. Just a little too nutty today. You're a little too nutty today, Jill. <laughs> That's what it is. Number five on our best value bourbons. Ofo, Old Forester, 1920. Again, a high proofer, 115 proof on this one, 60-ish, $62 MSRP. The great thing about these value bourbons is most of these you can get just about anywhere, especially if you go with like the normal release 100 or if you go with like the small batch select of Four Roses. This one smells good. <laughs> it's Old Forester. It can't be bad. I'm, I'm just waiting for something with Old Forester on it that's not good. I'm sure it's out there. I want somebody to send it to me. Just prove me wrong. Shut me up. I've never had an Old Forester wasn't good. Best one so far? I'm gonna have to nudge it out a little bit, yep. 
I think that was my favorite so far. So that we're finally getting in the right order. Now that we're in the top five, we're starting to we're starting we're to agree with them. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't move that Russell's up though. I mean, they're all good value whiskeys. You probably should have all of these in your cabinet if you're you know if you're into whiskey. If not, not sure how you got here, but thanks for watching. <laughs> Hit the like button while you're at it if you would. This is one of my favorite yeah, value yeah. bourbons. I, I like. I'm really interested to see what four top this one. I would have probably have had this one in my top three. Number four, Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, which here in Alabama is like $17, $18. I think it's a $20 MSRP. So you might pay just a little bit more for it, but it is under 20 bucks here, pretty much out the door. I don't It might be a little bit more with taxes, but 100 proof obviously being bottle and bond. This is the best bottle of whiskey I can get in the state of Alabama for under $20. Now, I don't know if they're in this list, but the benchmark stuff is right around 20. They're not really distributed in Alabama. I think there might be one or two of the varieties here now occasionally, but I gotta go to a different state to get those and they're normally $20, $25 for those. It's okay. You don't think it's better than the old Forrester or the early times or the rare breed, like any, like the rare breed was no. probably your tops. Or no, the, the, old, oh, the old Forester, yeah. 1920 was 1920. your tops. 1920, yeah. Russell's was like right there at it. But this is like, you yeah. could buy I'm three saying, bottles of this for the cost of a 1920. Like you don't like it at all? I like it a little bit, but not enough to want more of You it. would rather just spend 60 versus 20 and get no. that next tier of old Forester. It's not horrible. I just don't. Prefer. This is a good bottle for 20 ish dollars. If you're just getting into whiskey, I want you to try this because I, I do believe this is just kind of good Kentucky bourbon, good cheap Kentucky bourbon. It's not like some overwhelming experience. You don't need to, but you don't need to go wait in line for it. Like just about any liquor store anywhere. But see, I guess pretty that's good. where, like for me, if I'm going to drink it, I want an experience. I'm not drinking just for the effect of it. No, I agree, but at the same time, I'm everybody's budget's different. Like not right, every, like $60 yeah. is a lot of money That's true. for a bottle of whiskey that if That's you're true. just gonna go home and enjoy it on a weekend, like 60 bucks, versus $20. So if you just have $20, I think that's a good buy. And you buy. enjoy it. I wouldn't just get it to get it, to have it. As far as like how these are being ranked, in my opinion, these are not the best whiskeys on the list. We, did, we didn't get, here's the best value yeah. bourbons and then rank them 10 through one mm -hmm. as the best. It's more like which one's the best value. So it's right. how good it is compared okay, to the price. price. For the price, this right. to our audience is the fourth yeah. best exactly. bottle of bourbon on the planet. For some something to beat this, if it's got a higher price, it's gotta be considerably better, better. If for that to hold up. So let's check out number three. And that is Eagle Rare 10 Year. I mean, it's a value. We didn't say it was easy to find. Mm. We didn't, at 30 bucks, whatever they are now, $35. I don't think I've seen one for less than 40. But even at $45, this is an exceptional buy. And I still see them a lot at around that $44, $45 price tag. A 10 year old Buffalo Trace product that is this delicious at that price. This is still the same price as that Russell's Reserve 10. And a lot of people are gonna give, you know, the, I see it in the comments. Folks are like, oh my God, you paid $50 for an Eagle Rare. That's a $30 bottle, you tater. And my answer to them is, that's Tater King to you, man. Put a little respect on it. First of all, first and foremost, you're gonna address me as a tater. You might as well go ahead and call me the Tater King. And two, like, Lord have mercy, is this better than a Russell's 10? That is not a contest. It's not a contest. That is like me getting in a boxing match with Mike Tyson. It's not, no contest. It's not even, like, don't even think about it. We don't need to put these in a blind to pick the best one. What is that that I'm tasting on? Deliciousness. Okay. Absolute, new, wonderful. It is new, just a candy. Thing. It is like a great candy. I'm trying to think of like what candy I'm thinking of when I taste that. That is delicious. Like there's there's nothing else we've had thus far on this list that comes it's close great. to the delicious flavors of that. It's delicious, but just- it Just needs a little more proof. What is the proof? 90 proof. I said 100. Yeah, we said like- If it was 101. Eagle Ray used to be 101. Before Buffalo it. Trace bought it, like just charge me $100 and give me that at, at 101 proof and you'll sell it's every great. bottle. If you haven't had an Eagle Ray, it is it's worth so the price good. of admission. I prefer the 1920 with the proof. And that like, just, I like the proof of it, but the flavors are not mm -hmm. as good as this. I don't know what kind of magic Buffalo Trace puts in a bottle. They just know how to make a good whiskey. Again, it just suits my flavor profile yeah, where I'm delicious. looking for like the fruity, sweet floral notes and Buffalo Trace just provides it in everything yeah. they do. And if we ever make a whiskey, if we're ever lucky enough to be able to build our own distillery, I need to figure yes. out what voodoo goes into making these fruity flavors. But it's not easy to get. It's a value at $45, but good luck. I found it when we were doing our road trip, I came across 
a couple of stores that had it at like $45. We just didn't have room, so I didn't buy any. If you told me right now, I need a bottle of Beagle Rare, go get me one, I couldn't do it. I would have to go to the monthly drop for the Alabama ABC and stand in line really? for six hours to get one. So I couldn't go to a store and just find it on the shelf. I can see why. Yeah, it's, it's well, I mean, everything Buffalo Trace gets a ton of hype from taters like me. It's just so because good. everybody knows, like it just, it, everybody knows this is good. Everybody, at least everybody who's collecting knows that they yeah. should be buying this bottle. I don't know if they're opening them or not, but th this is a fantastic whiskey. So, numero dos is Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Apparently folks like Buffalo Trace. If you haven't noticed, our audience are fans of Buffalo Trace products. This one is a little easier to get than Eagle Rare. I saw a lot, a lot of the states I went to on our road trip was that whole state had, every store I went into had Buffalo Trace. I think it was Colorado, Buffalo Trace was everywhere. There were several states though that were just loaded up in Buffalo Trace. I bought a Buffalo Trace store pick in Wisconsin. So this is gonna be more readily available. They put out a ton more of this than they do Eagle Rare being 10 years old. This guy is MSRP of, around $28, I think, and it is 90 proof as well. What do you think? It's good. It's not Eagle Rare. No, this is, I don't think anybody would argue that this is, so not like, many people would argue that this is better so than Eagle Rare. So this is because it's less expensive? Like technically, like easy to yeah, found, or? a little of both. Probably more people have had this, so they may have voted for this because they've had it, because it's easier to get. I can get these for about half what I can reasonably get an Eagle Rare for. And it is, it's delicious. It's good. It's just missing that little bit of kind of interesting grape notes that yeah. Eagle Rare is so special. I haven't seen any benchmark stuff. Could benchmark be number one? We can't have the top three be Buffalo Tray stuff. Like we just can't, we can't do it. We can because we didn't pick it. So drum roll for me. Let me go over here and grab number one. And that is the 101. Wild uh -huh. Turkey 101. So there have been a couple of Buffalo Trace products, but there have been three Wild Turkey products. What's great about Wild Turkey though, is that every one of these products that we've mentioned is pretty readily available. The Buffalo Trace stuff we brought up, unobtainium for a lot of people. Like even just normal old Buffalo Trace, a lot of people have trouble finding it on the regular. Like if you told me right now to go get a Buffalo Trace, I would have a hard time, but with a little bit of look and I'd probably go over to Georgia, I'd probably find one definitely a lot easier than an Eagle Rare. This guy, pretty much every liquor store everywhere. Like no joke, if your liquor store does not have Wild Turkey 101, just leave, find another liquor store because they don't want to sell whiskey. They're not they're not in the bourbon if this bottle is not sitting on the shelf. What do you think? I like that. 101 proof. This is about $25 MSRP. As far as like a value bourbon goes, some people are not gonna like the proof of higher proof stuff. So this is kind of at the bottom end of those proof uh, that proof range that we typically like, which is that 100 plus. You can walk into any liquor store, have it yourself and, and carry it home. You don't have to wait in line. And as far as total package of affordable whiskeys, it's really hard to beat Wild Turkey 101. I get a little bit of like a buttered popcorn. Maybe. I probably wouldn't go that route, but I see where you, yeah. could, you could call it that. Overall, a good one though, but is this your favorite? Like which one out of these, out of all of these we tried, all of them being value bourbons, mm -hmm. which one's the best? Eagle Rare. Which one's number two? Russell's. I thought you liked the Old Forester 1920 oh, better yeah, than the Russell's. I did. So just Old Forester. a little bit, yeah. Just Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. Old, Old Forester. Forester. And then the Russell's, Russell's 10, which was number 10, was really your third. Good too. Yeah, this one doesn't have the age to it, so it doesn't have that yeah. kind of bitter oakiness starting to yeah. develop or that kind of dry oakiness. So this was the B-Team's top value bourbons. And if you disagree with this list in any way, shape, form, or fashion, let me know down in the comments. I will chastise them. I'll give them a hard time. I will let them know, hey, everybody was hating on y'all's list. Y'all need to tighten up and you need to do better. If you want to have your voice heard, then maybe you should be in the free Discord. Doesn't cost a thing. We just hang out. We talk about whiskey or join our patron group. We have a free tier of the patron and we got barrel picks. I bought 15 barrels of whiskey right now that are gonna roll out to those patrons. 15. I hope they never get to the free tier. I hope you join that free tier and you absolutely never get a barrel pick because that means everybody else has bought them before they get to you and I don't go broke and have to sell my house. But there's a chance because we got a bunch of them coming out that if you're in that free tier, you might get a shot at one. I don't I don't know, you might. As always, if you wanna join the Discord or the Patreon group, link is in the description. So I appreciate all of y'all that have supported the channel. We are trying to pump out more and more of these fine quality videos. If you like these lists where we poll, we, uh, we try different things, let me know again down in the comments. I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you in the next one.